You look marvelous. The selfie has been taken. How else can I assist you today? U.S. robotics firms are throwing everything they have at humanoid development as anxieties mount about China's rapid progress and state-backed push to dominate the field. Elon Musk is going all in on the Tesla Optimus, which may be his only chance of securing a record-setting trillion-dollar compensation package. Meanwhile, one of the Tesla bot's biggest stateside threats is diving headfirst into the abyss of B2B SaaS. As emerging competitors aim to transform Laundry Day and bring the city of Detroit back to its industrial roots. In San Francisco, Tumble Laundry has employed humanoid robots to fold laundry for its customers. The startup offers an app driven service that picks up dirty clothes in as little as 30 minutes and delivers them back clean and folded in under four hours. Launched in 2019, the company also runs a smart laundry technology business under the brand Tumble Smart Laundry. They partner with property managers to modernize coin-operated laundry rooms in apartment buildings. The robot folding the laundry is Isaac by Weave Robotics. The startup, founded in 2024 by former Apple employees Evan Weinland and Kondo Grusos, was part of Y Combinator's summer 2024 batch. Their team of about 10 are developing Isaac as a general-purpose robot for households. They're targeting pricing around $59,000 for the robots that can be controlled through voice and text commands or via automations in a companion app. Weave is competing in a crowding field of robotics firms aiming to bring Jetson-style living to reality. The well-funded Silicon Valley startup figure is also prioritizing laundry as it accelerates the deployment of its humanoids into households. The unicorn startup says its self-developed Helix AI model that powers industrial applications can now accomplish the most dreaded household tasks. Meanwhile, the company's flagship humanoid robot, the Figure 2, will apparently be on hand for Salesforce's upcoming Dreamforce conference in San Francisco. Dreamforce is Salesforce's annual event featuring keynote, breakout session, networking opportunities, and an expo showcasing the latest innovation. Would you like to hear about a big session, speakers, or activities? Actually, I was wondering if you can say it out with The three-day event is expected to draw more than 40,000 attendees and millions virtually. Salesforce CEO Mark Benioff teased the figure robot's participation with this 55-second clip on social media. The humanoid in the footage is integrated with Salesforce's AgentForce AI. The king of SaaS is aggressively pushing the agentic platform as a competitor to Microsoft Copilot and Google Gemini for workspaces. Benioff credits the software with helping Salesforce cut more than 4,000 support jobs. So I was able to rebalance my headcount on my support. I've reduced it from 9,000 heads to about 5,000 because I need less heads. The Salesforce CEO described it as part of a shift toward agentic artificial intelligence, with 30 to 50% of internal work handled by AI across support, engineering, marketing, and analytics. Benioff appears bullish on humanoids. Hey, Optimus, what are you doing there? Just chilling, ready to help. The Salesforce co-founder followed his viral layoff remarks with this smartphone footage of him interacting with a next-generation Tesla Optimus humanoid robot. The casual flex hinted at a much bigger play brewing behind the scenes that could upend entire industries. Elon Musk, whose voice can be heard in the background in the clip, later clarified that the robot is not the third generation iteration. He called it Optimus 2.5 and described the Gen 3 prototype under development as divine. Tesla originally planned to manufacture between 5 and 10,000 Optimus humanoids by the end of 2025, but that target has been pushed into next year. The EV maker is reportedly redesigning the robot's dexterous hand before scaling production. During an interview at the 2025 All-In Summit, Musk said Tesla's Optimus is a top priority. It, it might be more of my mental cycles than anything, anything else, any other single thing on Optimus. Uh, that, that really is going to be a very remarkable robot. 
Um, it will have the essentially the manual dexterity of a human, so meaning a very complex hand. Um, a, the a, an AI mind that can navigate and comprehend reality, um, and it will be made in very high volume. He said the robot's hands and forearms have been the most challenging to engineer. Human hands typically have 27 degrees of freedom, including the wrist. Tesla's next-gen robotic hand has a reported 22 degrees of freedom, which is on the high end compared to what's available on the market today. Musk said Tesla is building everything for the humanoid in-house. Because we have, there is no supply chain that exists for humanoid robots, so it has to be we have to recreate it from scratch, um, and which requires doing a lot of vertical integration. Um, none of the actuators in Optimus um, are available from an existing supply chain. The robot's initial pricing will likely be prohibitive for most, but Musk said it will drop dramatically as production scales. Once you hit a million units per year, uh, is probably around the $20,000 range. During the interview, Musk said the humanoid form factor is ideal for general purpose robotics because civilization was designed by and for humans. Well, if you wanted to do all the things that a human can do, it turns out you need a humanoid robot. Um, so if you wanted to do a subset, it, that's much easier. Musk is treating Optimus as a core pillar of Tesla's future strategy predicting it will boost its profits by trillions and easily become the manufacturer's biggest success ever. But I, I think it is accurate to say that if successful, Optimus will be the biggest product ever. Tesla has been pushing its humanoid to commercialization since 2021, when Musk introduced the concept with a cosplaying dancer in lieu of a physical prototype. For now, the only way for most people to interact with Optimus is by visiting Tesla's futuristic retro diner in Hollywood. Tesla's official account on X shared this footage of an all-black Optimus serving popcorn at the diner that operates around the clock. According to Musk, Tesla is applying the same real-world AI training used in its self-driving vehicles to power the humanoid's autonomous capabilities. Both Tesla and Figure are expected to debut their third-generation prototypes by the end of 2025. As they both race toward high-rate manufacturing, 2026 is shaping up to be a make-or-break year for the humanoids. Meanwhile, in Detroit, an emerging startup recently offered a first look at its general-purpose humanoid designed to help bring the city back to its manufacturing roots. Hey, Borg. Move the boxes from the first cell to the second cell. Sounds good. Borg Robotics, founded in 2022 by Lorenzo Junkic, shared this footage of its flagship humanoid performing logistics tasks. The startup said the robot is acting 100% autonomously. According to Borg, the humanoid was designed by a team of just three people. They're using custom actuators developed in-house the humanoid, named the Borg One, currently reaches a top speed of 2 meters per second or about 4.5 miles per hour, which the startup said is the slowest it'll ever be. The robot is wheeled for now, but Borg is working toward a bipedal variant. Borg Robotics is building a connected robotic ecosystem for industrial automation that includes its flagship humanoid platform, a pallet mover, an industrial cobot, and a forklift. Meanwhile, in Shenzhen, a robotics firm that's barely known in the West just secured a historic order as it cements its leadership position in the humanoid robotics race. For more on that, check the related video.